Please look at me. Marando Scalibare Shovra has Kabale Kuriata. I want you to listen. Please listen. Reverend Sam, when God made man, God made man complete. The, the way God responded to a complete man was the same way God responded to dry bones. All of them needed speakings on them. You would think because Adam was already complete, there would be no need to prophesy on him. The same way God spoke to a whole being, Adam, was the same way prophecy was made upon dry bones. Whether you are complete, having everything in place, or having nothing, you will never outgrow the power of prophecy. What was wrong with Adam? A man who came directly, the creativity of God himself, the artistry of God, displayed at his finest. Would you need to add anything to such a man? His mind, brain, body, biology, everything was in place. And yet God said, this man is not complete. Every factor in place. The business is well built. All the factors, advertising, branding, marketing, creativity, relational principles. But it will lie like Adam. Something is still missing. And then when he sees dry bones, he still says in the economy of heaven, it is still the same thing. How do you have to prophesy fruitfulness? For something that is already systemic to be fruitful. The brain is already there. The hands are already there. Let me tell you the truth. I believe in excellence. But excellence will never replace nor negate the power of prophecy. There are many of you who are surprised why things are not working. The truth is that everything to make it work is there. You are diligent. You have read the books. But there is a factor. And this is what by the Spirit of God, I want to truly speak over someone. I stand with all humility and I tell you this. I am a beneficiary of the power of prophecy. When the hand of God comes upon your life, it becomes unmistakable. Unmistakable. Help that woman. Unmistakable. The Lord granted his servant... To put this meeting, even though it cuts across an array of fields and professions, let me speak to you, my dear business people. Do not allow intellect make you downplay the value of spiritual things. Proverbs chapter 3, from verse 5 to 7 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and to lean not unto your own understanding. Then he says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Verse 7 says, be not wise in your own eyes. That is the cancer that kills intelligent people. Wise in their own eyes. You can build a boat. You can build the ark. But only God brings the animals. The formula to attract animals from the bush on their own has not been given to any man. There are certain things in your success factor your success equation that only resides with God. You cannot receive it outside of him. It is his presence. Are you ready to receive? Years ago when I read Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 that it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently Please help two people for me now that shout under the anointing. I just saw fire just coming on two people. That fire and the Lord is telling me that that person, you have a prophetic ministry. It's a prophetic ministry. A prophetic ministry. And it says it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently. 
hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all that I command you this day. Please listen. It says that the Lord shall exalt you. Reverend Sam, when I saw that word, I was in one room. I believed it. Exalt you above all nations of the earth. Your, the color of your skin notwithstanding. Listen, it is unto you according to what you choose to believe. You listen to nonsense, you will become what you are hearing. Did you hear what I said? It is your responsibility to culture your perceptions for the sake of where God is taking you. The Bible says in Genesis 12 verse 3, In thee shall all nations be blessed. I am a blessing. This is what you must believe it. I am a blessing. Yes. That you shall lay up gold as dust. I believe it all. You will never, listen, I wish I had time would have spoken about finances a bit. Reject poverty. Hear what I'm telling you now. Reject poverty as a personal mission. Reject it. This is not the issue of Canada. Reject it. You will never be able to do much for the kingdom if you're incapacitated. By the privilege of God's grace, we have conferences happening across the continents and I cannot tell you the monies that are needed in millions of dollars to run these things except you are a thief and even if you are that you will still suffer what is on your head is what controls what is around your life and i'm releasing my faith with reverend sam i know we still have tomorrow but i want to speak from the depth of my heart this is why i came here tonight hallelujah that's why I came tonight. It is from what we have received that we give. We don't know everything. At least for myself, I don't know everything. I don't have everything. But there are things we have. Believe me. Believe me. When God has given you something, you have it. It's as simple and honest and sincere as that. Father, in the name of Jesus, over someone's life and over someone's destiny, I speak to you standing upon the grace of God's servant here in addition to the many vessels that have been here in the name that is above all names first let me start it this way every force that has sat on your destiny and your glory and will not allow you blossom we dislodge those forces now we dislodge those forces now we dislodge those forces now hey the Bible says, by you, I can run through a troop. By my God, I can leap over a wall. I place grace upon your life. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. I prophesy over your destiny. Run like Elijah. Overtake the chariots of Ahab. In the name of Jesus. Run like Elijah. Ten years in one year, one year in one month, I prophesy to you, ten years in one year, I shift you by prophecy, enter a new season, enter a new season, enter a new season, enter a new season, enter a new season. Listen, please hear me. You are as relevant as the people who attest to the presence of your value. You are as relevant as the people who attest to the presence of your value. The reason why we honor global brands today is because there are enough men who have attested to the fact that those brands are valuable enough. You are as valuable as the presence of the people who attest to your value. They cannot reward you if they do not know you are there. Publicity is first a spiritual matter. There are aids, social media and the rest. But there is a hear ye him anointing. And if that grace is not on you, you can do all you can. And nobody will hear you. Is someone ready to carry that grace? The grace that God has placed on his servant. Placed on the men and the women of God here. That will cause the nations even the ends of the earth to hear you for as many who will shout amen and believe this
carry that grace now for your products carry that grace now for your vision carry that grace now for your ministry carry that grace now son of man what seest thou i see four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against jerusalem against judea against in the name of jesus every horn that has risen to shut your voice to shut your relevance so that you will not be heard we bury those voices now we bury those horns now i say it again the transforming church we bury those voices now you're my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory i'm wrapping up something is resting on your life Hallelujah. I'm led in my spirit to speak over two areas and then we're done. Can I pray for your finances? Ladies and gentlemen, please listen to me. This finance thing, ba. this finance thing, if God does not help you, you will sit down one day and cry like a baby, no matter how old you are. Did you hear what I said? You will not cry because you don't have food to eat. You will cry because you are watching prophecy limited by lack of resources. There are many books today that would have blessed the nation staring revivals. Money stopped that move. There are many apostolic and prophetic voices, evangelical pastoral voices that should be heralding his message to the nations but they are incapacitated by resources. You want to see attack? Let the grace for wealth start coming close to you. You will see more attack in your life. Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church. Please hear me. I'm saying this because for someone, if you don't get angry with lack, you may sit down and have visions all you can. And yet you will go and meet the Lord. You will not do one tenth of what he has told you to do. I'm wrapping up, Reverend Sam. When God called me, I listened to late Pat Robertson, 700 Club, and he prayed a prayer as a young man. He said when God called him, naive, not knowing many things, he said, Lord, give me three things. Number one, give me wisdom. Number two, give me favor. Number three, give me the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I took out time to pray that prayer and to study them. Then when I came to the subject of favor, I saw that naturally speaking, I did not have any advantage that I could lean on. And I listened to Dr. Mike Modok. May God bless him. Bless him. Thankfully, we still have him alive. This man spoke about favor. And I began to learn certain things. I took one month to pray. And I said, God, don't send me with a message alone. I said, Lord, you have to help me and show me, show me your help, even in this area. You have given me an apostolic call. It is an expensive call, financially expensive, not just attacks from the spirit. Even if nobody attacks you, you will still not move forward if you don't have resources. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Thankfully, I was so honored to have Reverend Sam with us at Manchester last year. It was a surprise just like pastor Jerry was saying I mean he's not just done that to pastor Jerry I think he's done that to almost everyone within his circle that sacrifice he was over at Manchester and the Lord gives us an instruction 
to put something at the largest indoor arena and he said not collect offering there's nothing wrong with free and then to pay to i mean to to feed all the workers over 2000 2500 people to feed them and he said don't collect offering don't make one mention i said god but giving is one of the ways people rise he said no there is a narrative about church within the european space that i want to use this conference to correct obedience is hard when you are poor you believe whatever you want to believe i will tell you this as as sincere and as modest as i can be i'm saying that because your story is about to change let me tell you this there are many visions today by god's prophetic hand upon your life you are supposed to have gone far there are younger ministers younger apostolic and prophetic voices that are rising but you are incapacitated the problem is not lack of grace you have the content you are disciplined you have character people of consecration but you are pegged in one place right now the unbelieving community have bought O2 Arena in UK. They bought Excel and they banned Christian activities there completely. While that is happening, we are here praying in tongues and that is good. But very soon, they will buy up everything and push us out. You see, let me tell you the truth. You must adopt, you see, Jesus the model had a treasurer and he did not shy away from the issue of finances there are times there were times when they came to embarrass him and they said you claim to be a preacher of righteousness but you are wanting in the area of finances he didn't argue he got the money and showed us from that example how to enjoy peace in life to give to caesar what belongs to caesar there are things that belong to caesar the moment you are serving god caesar will come to embarrass you embarrass your integrity and say you are preaching you are calling you've not paid your tax you know preparing for a conference in uk and canada reverend sam you know this better than all of us i mean you cannot imagine the things you have to pay for insurance seats car park huh once you are gathering a crowd in excess of ten thousand uh, uh, ten thousand people there are certain oh dear by the time they are done with you you will go back for a retreat and ask whether god really sent you I mean what I'm saying. We exhausted the doors that were open for Canada and we had to now get another 5,000 overflow. And once we did, they had to renegotiate the contract as if the first one was null and void. Ah, but in Nigeria, they can say, okay, since you have done this, love Nigeria, oh, it's not that bad. We are still kind. The kind of help that is needed for you to go forward. I'm speaking to a businessman. I'm speaking to someone in ministry. The kind of help that only God can bring to men. Honestly, I prophesy to you here on this altar, beginning from now and the next 90 days, if you have the faith to believe, write it down and believe. Begin to enjoy tremendous supplies. Tremendous supplies. I prophesy to you tremendous supplies. I place prophetic words upon your head. Let helpers arise. Let financiers arise. Let favor conduits arise. In the name of Jesus Christ. I forbid you from begging and borrowing. Finances will not limit your becoming. Finances will not limit your rising. Finances will not limit your thriving. You will lay up gold as dust. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reverend Sam, will you lend me one minute to speak over those in debt? I'm hearing in my spirit debt. Debt like owing. There are some of you who are neck deep in troubles. There are preachers you are behind. And if God does not help you, you will plunge into depression. Every time people got into debt, it was not business that brought them out. It was prophecy. Whether it's lack of food in samaria or the axe head that fell alas master it was borrowed it was prophecy that brought them out i want to speak to someone 
whether it is personal debt i've been in debt before i know the inconvenience that there are people who are not sick but the trouble on their head is better to even be sick hallelujah can i pray that for you because you need to come out of it the embarrassment the shame and the reproach i tell you being in debt will strip you of your dignity people who have no no audacity to talk to you will tear you down because you are in debt i pray for you in the name that is above all names standing on the graces that are here represented i decree and declare within the next 90 days by the wisdom of god by the mercy of god by the gift of man by the ministry of helpers by all godly means come out of debt in the name of jesus come out of begging and borrowing in the name of jesus you will owe no man nothing but love at least at a personal level in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i sense in my heart that for someone else one of the reasons why you have gotten into debt is because of greed please forgive me and don't feel insulted we're wrapping up but it's something the lord is putting in my heart because there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat your seed has never been part of prophecy never been part of advancing anything kingdom sometimes i feel embarrassed doing this but you see let me tell you the truth there is nobody who prospers in the kingdom if you are not a giver the attacks on an unbeliever is not the same attack on you the unbeliever can thrive with certain principles because they are largely serving babylon you are vowed to serve the kingdom hallelujah this man you see is not just a receiver by the mercy of God and I apologize if it sounds arrogant maybe the only thing I've not given is, is, is to remove my heart and remove the life and give don't just covet people's testimonies this is why sometimes as inconveniencing as it is it's good for pastors to tell people certain testimonies so they don't just pretend and assume sometimes it's inconveniencing because people mistaking them for pride I have given seeds to the millions of dollars let me tell you i'm saying it to your face don't think i'm i'm, I'm sorry I, I almost feel like i just sin against god now but it's important to tell you don't just think that uh, no no a gentleman came like about a month ago who had been so blessed prayed for him in ghana God expanded him. He's become a millionaire. He traveled from Ghana and came with me. Was it ten hundred thousand dollars or 150 to come and give me? And when he came, I blessed him and the Lord said, uh -uh, this is not for you. Let him take it back to Koinonia account in the U.S. and deposit it there. You think I don't know what to do with a hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Even if I don't know, I'm surrounded by too many wise people to help me know what to do with it your heart for god oh i don't want to deceive let's not just shout amen and wrap up and go away if your heart is still closed i tell you your financial gate will be closed eternally hallelujah i'm saying this to you so that you know that behind certain extraordinary results there are things that men do whatever you cannot part with deserves to rule over you one of the ways that God conquers materialism and carnality is to give you prophetic instructions to give. I always ask why God will insist that people will give. I'm not asking you to give, not necessarily. But I'm just telling you that one of the ways God prunes the dominion of material things over you is that occasionally in your life, he will give you instructions that you almost want to cast that voice away. He does it not because of the money at all. He does it because he wants what has taken his place in your heart to die. Let me pray my last prayer now. Pastor Jerry shared it very powerfully. We adjust to systems and structures, but we never bend. Some of you are bent too far. You would rather leave God than to be poor. Now you've gone too far. That one is dangerous. You would rather push Jesus out of the scene to get fame. That one is dangerous. Are we together? 
the moment anything fights the place and the position of God in your life, you are already at a danger zone. I can tell you that. I'm praying for someone here who you have lost your love for Jesus. I know this is advanced conference, but please allow me to wrap up with this prayer. You have lost touch with spiritual things. Maybe because you really want to make money, you want fame, you want all of these things. I can tell you the truth. When you take Jesus out of the equation of your life, your life remains barren and empty. And most people just say yes mechanically, but their lives show that Jesus is far, somewhere in their space outside. God is calling us deeper. The strength of the believer is the position you have placed God in. Not just that he's in your heart. Where in your heart is he? You can be in my house and I can leave you somewhere outside. You are in my house but you are still outside. You can be in my house and I drop you somewhere at the visitor's lounge. You are in my house but there are inner chambers in every house and people you treasure, you take them there. There are many of you, Jesus is around your life, not in your heart. He's not outside but he's around somewhere joining the queue after money and fame before him god is calling you now that in all your pursuits you need to redirect your passion can i speak a word of restoration for someone you've lost your fire you've lost your spiritual texture you've lost your zeal for spiritual things and god sent you to advance conference tonight i agree with reverend sam on your behalf in the name that is above all names i decree the grace that draws men to a depth of intimacy with God beyond money, beyond material things, beyond ministry, beyond fame. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. In this season, let me tell you, the new wine of the Spirit is moving from nation to nation from continent to continent finding the vessels that have the space there are all kinds of mantles graces that have not been seen before but they are searching for a new wine skin you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin you cannot put a new prophetic wine in an old prophetic wine skin a new apostolic wine in an old apostolic wine skin a new territorial wine in an old territorial wine skin let us leave the old and press for the new press for the new press for the new pray just one more minute and then we'll pray corporately that's why we came tonight without new wine you cannot have the new songs without new wine you cannot have the new sermons you will keep recycling the old copying from man of God to man of God it will take new wine to understand the rhythm of the spirit hallelujah praise the lord listen to me we have a few more minutes just a few minutes and then we'll stop acts chapter 26 and verse 22 there are times in your life listen where because of the kind of glory that is coming no matter how you release yourself you will still not have the capacity you will need to cry for an assistance from heaven he says having therefore obtained help of god 
I continue unto this day. The reason I'm still standing from glory to glory, I saturated my effort at a point, but having obtained help from God, I continue to this day. Having obtained help from God in the apostolic ministry, in the prophetic ministry, in the pursuits to bring the wealth of the kingdom to the saints, in the pursuit to doing this and that, whatever it is, there are times when you stretch yourself to the limit and it still cannot make for the size of the glory you will need to turn to the helper of zion it says having therefore obtained help of god i continue it takes the help of god to keep going there are times you will reach your elastic limit you will stretch and break to pieces you will still not meet god's standard if someone ready to cry for help from heaven lord assist me assist me let 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 the divine help the alignment it will take to command the wealth of the kingdom in this season lord assist me there is only so much i can do the alignment that will be required to carry the apostolic and the prophetic grace i cry for help haven't obtained help from God, I continue. God is the helper of men. God can help you. He can help you rise. He can help you stand. He can help you reign. He can help you conquer. He has not stopped being the helper. The Holy Spirit is called the Helper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please pair yourselves in twos if you can. Just hold someone those under the anointing or just alone just leave them but hold your hands you are going to cry to heaven agreeing with that person say lord a superior realm of results a new dimension of grace glory that is all encompassing i receive it agree 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 with somebody pray outside pray those online pray this is the season, oh God, of the glory that excels in ministry, in business, the glory that excels. Shakatakata, baka paroko to sekete, epekete nekete kete kete, shakato se paruza tanikata, the glory that excels, the weightiness, the desirability that excels, that I become the desire of nations. I become the desire of kings. Please pray. Shake it, shake it, shake it. El brada do la baruta shake it. E koto 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 bash. El braka tu sasi anakata. Rapa pa baruto toto. El dereke tos kele bash. Rakata baruto shebregele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 45, verse 12. I believe it is. The Lord just put it in my heart. This is the level that God is taking us to. I hope you remember the teaching I did about Tyre and Sidon. The marketplace of the earth. Where the exchange is made. It says, and the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. It says, even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. There is an investment of the spirit 
that comes upon your life listen i want to show you how this relates to extraordinary fruitfulness there are realms where you would not beg and search for your sacrifice and your investment will cause nobles to come with what you would have looked for the daughter of tyre will come with a gift the gift you would have been searching for and then the rich among the people not the poor there is a grace because you left looking for the glory of wealth to seek his face he will cause those who have the glory of the wealth to come to entreat your favor listen that means wealth is not favor because there is a favor that even the rich are looking for what is it They are not coming to just look at you. There is something money cannot buy. The rich will entreat your favor. They will come to you. And it will be a privilege to give them audience. I'd like you to pray. And say, Lord, on account of the glory you are putting upon my life, even in this season, let the daughter of Tyre begin to come with her gift and let the kings of these systems come with their treasures to entreat my favor please lift your voice and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding because I have subscribed to the glory that comes from your face not the glory that comes from wealth not the glory that comes from human wisdom not the glory that comes from human might the glory that comes from knowing you let the daughter of tyre come with her gift let the nobles of the earth begin to entreat my favor pray for koinonia in this season King coming to entreat your favor. Hallelujah. The Bible says that a time will come when seven virgins, it was a prophetic statement, seven virgins will hold on to one man, that spiritual Jew. They are not holding on to him just because he's handsome. There is something that the tribe he comes from carries. And seven dimensions that have not been seen come to you and say, we want to be part of your life. We want to be featured in your destiny. Such a force of attraction. Such a force of attraction. Dimensions that have never been seen. They will come and latch on to you. Father, whatever is for me in this season, by the grace you are putting on my life, it must be attracted to me in this season. Lift your voice and pray like a believer. You are placing an anointing. You are placing a grace and a glory. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are my inheritance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time will fail me to share with you the testimonies of the level of ease that your life will step into when you truly carry the glory of God. The glory of God is a voice. It can speak. It can speak to kings. That the things you once desired will come to you at a platter. Because his glory is upon you. He says, arise, shine. For your light has come. Not just that. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The 
the glory that excels this is the glory that will humble the arrogance of the kings of the earth if all you look for is money you will be like them if all you look for is human scientific wisdom you will be like them if all you look for is human systems of fortification but press for his face understand his ways and let him invest upon you a glory that excels and you will watch with wonder the way God will draw glory out of your life there are new and strange kinds of anointings that are coming upon the body of Christ there are new and strange dimensions of the workings of the spirit as has never been seen the times and the seasons already signify it and our own is just to say Maranatha come Lord come with all of these things come come the body of Christ is stepping into certain offices certain levels of spiritual possibilities that might have for prophecy of the church ascending we will humble the pride of kings. The church is not a nuisance to civilization. No. God is giving us a voice that cannot be silenced. A voice that not the rich will ignore. The poor will not ignore. Politicians will not ignore. But our price is to become the new wine skin that can carry that new wine and when the new one finds a resting place, then there is no limit to what you can do. Let me round up. When the feast was about to finish, and Jesus turned water to wine, the first to taste of that wine were the rulers of the ceremony. Listen carefully. That wine was not designed for the general congregation. The wine was a statement. And so, the attention of the kings, they were the first to taste of the wine. All other kinds of wines could be taken by everyone. But the kings took it. And they said, where did you get this? People bring the best at the beginning. But you have saved the last. That means the investment that God is giving us is to subdue the gatekeepers of territories not just for things common no the gatekeepers of territories access to the heart of nobles because one 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 madman in gadara listen one madman in gadara is equivalent to 10 cities we don't have the time again to go one by one to every city no God will be giving us the madman in Gadara and the woman by the well. God is, will use one person like an arrow from a man's quiver and shoot nations with him. That's what God is doing. Listen to me and hear what I'm saying again prophetically. It will no longer be one by one. Go to this. There's no time for that again. So he will give us a grace one grace that can touch a voice that will make all other voices hear him that's territorial dominion it no longer will be people one by one it's a waste of time he will be taking us to the madmen at gadara for the sake of the decapolis he will be taking us to the women at the well for the sake of all who will come with her all those who have the voice of systems god will send us to them that is why we need a glory that is higher than what they have otherwise they will not hear the word of the lord upon you it was nicodemus that came to jesus by night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man not i know not i know not i know meaning that we have been watching you and we have seen that even though we don't have this we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things the 
mountain of the Lord's house. It will look like a dream until you see it happening. Until you see that God gives you the heart of kings. And then you plant the seed of righteousness. That in one day a nation can be saved because their kings are saved. Was it not in one day Nebuchadnezzar signed a decree and said everywhere across Babylon, let the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, that anyone who does not worship that God should be killed. There are spectacular things that God will do to men that will change men. I'm available though. I don't know about you. But my heart is... Listen, let me tell you the truth. And I sincerely tell you this. The concept of church as we know it is changing fast. It will no longer just be a man of God and plenty of people just... No, 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 no. It's going to be the level of access to territories. That God will give you keys to territories men who will walk like gods upon the earth that you will speak and both your members and your non-members will be forced to hear because of what you hold this is what god is doing please i like you to be sensitive these seven days don't be casual we're we're at the edge of the unfolding of a new move of God is like a boiling pot that is already tilting and God is doing something very prophetic and very apostolic father we give you all the praise tonight we declare by the spirit of the living God that we are ready to be the carriers of this glory that excels the glory that will bring you much gain the glory that will make a man more priceless than a nation. We pray, O oh God, for the help that comes from you to go through the sacrifice of the transformation that will be required to make us new wineskins so that we will be able to effectively host this wine. But we pray, O oh God, Maranatha, come. Let these dimensions come without hindrance. We pray even for this house. Let this house as a corporate entity be transformed into a new wineskin. Thank God for what you have done before. But we are ready to... Praise the Lord, precious beloved. Thank you for staying tuned till this time with us. On Reflector Hub TV, we are committed to bringing you the mandate of the Lord via his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. And on this platform, we trust that every word which you have heard comes to pass in your life. The Bible said, the Lord has spoken his word and it will not fall to the ground, neither will it return to him void without accomplishing that which he has set to do in your life, in your family, in your business, in all that concerns you, everything that pertains to your life, the fulfillment of it, and your destiny be rest assured that god is bringing life to it be rest assured that god is bringing dominance to it be rest assured that god is bringing his breath his very hand upon it because god is surely involved in your life in your business and all that concerns it do well to stay tuned with us if you're a new viewer kindly hit the subscribe button strike the notification bell so as to stay updated with our daily uploads and also don't forget to share this video to your loved ones, family and friends. God bless you. Thank you so very much. See you in our next video.